Hi, Ross of Aquarimax Pets here, and today's video is a species profile of Anmadilidium cf palaci, or palaci, Croatian giant. The scientific name of this species has undergone some changes. It has been listed in the past as Armadilidium frontirostre and is now more correctly known as Armadilidium cf palaci. The cf stands for the Latin confere, which means to compare or to confer. It is used when specimens or populations, like the stock in the hobby, appears very similar to a species, but it has not been scientifically established that it is indeed that species. So, we know that the Croatian giants in the hobby look very similar to Armadilidium palaci, but we cannot definitively consider it to be that species, at least not yet. Croatian giant is just one locality of whatever species it actually happens to be. Croatia does seem to produce some really pretty neat isopods, like Armadilidium klugai Dubrovnik. I've kept the Croatian giants for a couple of years, and in my experience, they have not proven to be particularly gigantic. Smugbug shed some light on this subject, indicating that this locality isn't any longer than other localities of the species, but is a bit stockier around the middle. While we're on the topic, let's talk a little more about size in Harby isopods. For one thing, I'm sure we can all agree that genetics certainly play a part in the size of isopods. Case in point, Armadilidium espanuli marbleized. They're going to be on the smaller end for the genus Armadilidium, while gestroi often get pretty big. However, variation among isopods can also have a lot to do with environmental factors, such as population density. I once found a specimen of Armadilidium maculatum, the zebra isopod, that had spent a long time in my one of my morning gecko enclosures, and it was easily three times the mass of any other zebra pill bug I had ever seen. It's entirely possible that there are some Croatian giants out there that truly live up to their name. I've heard reports of this species getting over an inch long, and I've never seen any of my individuals get anywhere near that big. It would be pretty fun to see something like that, though, so if any of you know of or have any specimens of that size, please let me know about it down in the comments. Predictably, considering its genus, this Armadilidium species can and does conglobate. I'm not aware of any morphs of this species, though there is at least one other strain without specific locality information in the hobby, and there may be others. Croatian giants seem moderately prolific for Armadilidium. They don't seem nearly as prolific as Armadilidium paraci, for example, but they do all right. Before we get into husbandry for this species, allow me to shout out my patrons on Patreon.com. This channel exists because I love to interact with and learn about all sorts of wonderful creatures, and share that information with you here on YouTube. As much as I love it, it does take time and resources, and my patrons help keep me going. Many thanks to my patrons, and to find out how you could help and to see what I offer my patrons, just click the link at the end of this video or in the description. And now let's talk about care for Croatian giants. For a starter group of 10 to 12 individuals, a standard six quart bin is great. If you notice these isopods getting larger than most, or just when the colony itself gets larger, you'll want to split the culture or upgrade to larger quarters. As I do with most Armadilidium species, I offer a moisture gradient. Maybe 20 to 25% moss with most of the rest of the enclosure fairly dry. I provide this species with a standard inch or two of base substrate and a good quantity of leaf litter. This species really seems to like concave bark. They will congregate on the underside in numbers, kind of like Armadilidium paraci and many other species do. I provide good cross ventilation for my Croatian giants, and as always, ambient airflow and humidity dictate the precise ventilation and watering schedule. I keep mine at room temperature. Since these are an Armadilidium species, beyond leaf litter, vegetable matter should be offered on occasion, things like raw sweet potato or green beans or squash, and I also provide plenty of supreme isopod chow to mine. I have not kept this species as a biocustodian and probably wouldn't, as Armadilidium tend to munch on live plants, and I don't expect that this species would be an exception to the rule. But if you've successfully or unsuccessfully employed this species as a cleanup crew, I'd like to hear more about it down in the comments. I think the main reason that this species is in the hobby is its reputation for getting so big. I've never kept them in a display enclosure, so I'm not sure how day active they would be in such a setup, 
but they do seem to be less flighty than some other isopod species I've worked with. And when I open their enclosure, now that the population is decently dense, I seem to see at least a couple of them roaming around. This species is not particularly pricey, nor is it hard to source. So if you feel like seeing if you can get them to live up to their reputations as giants, it's not going to set you back very far. And that's about all I have on Croatian giants for you today. This video is part of a growing playlist of isopod species profiles. So if you haven't seen the rest of the playlist, be sure to check it out right here. And thanks for watching today. I post videos every Friday with live streams once a week as well, all on aquarium and vivarium pets with lots of isopod content. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video. <music>